hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video this is week 5 assignment of the course joy of computing using python so guys now let's see the solutions for this so these are completely our probable solutions if you want to suggest any solution changes you can please do that in the comment section and if we find out any solution change ourselves definitely we will update that same in the comment section so before final submission once again check the comment section guys so now let's see the first question which of the following options correctly represents the possible outputs of the function defined above so n modulus 2 that means percentage symbol let you know the reminder right so if you divide any i mean if you divide any number with 2 then the remainder definitely lie between 0 and 1 a remainder if it is even number definitely it will exactly divide and remainder will be zero if it is odd number then definitely it will give one remainder so between zero and one the answer will be lying right i mean zero either zero or one right next second question what is the result of f of one f of two and f of three for second question as well first option is the probable solution 4 7 10 guys the outputs are tested actually outputs are tested in the compiler so i have got the answer as first option if you are new to our channel definitely subscribe our channel like the video guys definitely and please share this within your whatsapp student groups unofficial college student groups next third question what type of mathematical function does mystery function represent this one so for third question third option many to one since multiple inputs map to same output so mark third option as the probable solution for third question now let's move on to the fourth one what will be the output so this is the code four lines of code they are asking they are asking uh, they are uh, expecting the output for that so for fourth question for the fourth one first option nine is the probable solution right next fifth one so fifth question pi calc system two functions are defined so what is the output of composed of four so for the fifth question first option 11 is the probable solution guys guys definitely watch the video till the end don't skip the video if you do so you may miss some content if i change solution in between so do watch full video without skipping guys for the past five to six years we have been providing solutions for various courses next sixth question what will happen when the when this code is executed so for sixth question for sixth one third option is the probable one it raises an error because dot shape is not a function and cannot be called with brackets right next seventh question what will be printed for seventh question third option 4 and 14 so mark third option as the probable solution for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one what will happen when this code is run so for eighth question i have got the option as second option guys the outputs based questions are 100 percent tested in the compiler guys so exactly i have got this so mark option two I mean second option as the probable solution for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one guys if you feel this video is helpful for you definitely subscribe our channel guys and definitely like the video then only our channel will reach more number of students and they will also get benefited like you right so ninth question what will happen when this code runs so for ninth question third option error string object is not callable for ninth question third option is the probable solution now let's move on to the tenth question so for tenth question i have got second one as the output so mark this next moving on to the eleventh question now So they have given the brief introduction about the binary search and linear search. So I am directly getting into the solutions. 
so what is the time complexity of the worst case scenario for linear search so for 11th question third option o of n so time complexity is o of n so num directly propor proportional to number of elements right next 12th one which condition must be met for binary search to function correctly so for binary search definitely the list should be sorted i mean the array should be sorted already arranged in a an order then only we have to we can perform binary search that means third option for 12th question third option is the uh, third option is the probable solution now let's move on to the 13th one what will be the output of binary underscore search of list with these numbers so for 13th question i have got second option 3 as the probable solution and output guys these outputs are 100 percent tested through python compiler guys so no need to worry about this 14th in the binary search algorithm what happens if array of mid element greater than the target so search left half of the array is the probable solution next 14th one sorry uh, 15th one so for 15th question i have got third option minus one as the probable solution minus one right so before getting into the 16th question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs for the course joy of computing using python we have we are we have collected exam preparation mcqs these are collection of nine past semesters assignment mcqs with five to six years of NPTEL experience we have collected this so these are the packs guys you can select your pack according to your budget so 125 mcqs pack 150 240 MCQs, 250, 360 MCQs, 360 only, 600 huge number of MCQs, 500 only, 1000 plus MCQs, 800 rupees. Guys. So if you increase the number of MCQs, equivalent price will be decreased. So you can select any of this pack. So validity will be till the exam results day. So no need to worry about the validity. You will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So this is the mail ID if you want to purchase bk179417 at the gmail.com already many students and even professors also taken our packs guys. So bk179417 at the gmail.com so this is our mail ID. You will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link. So mail me to this email ID I will give the same in the description box also. Once you mail me regarding this I will let you know the payment procedure. So you will get this mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link with validity till the exam results publishing day so this is a google drive pdf restricted link guys so huge number of up to thousand plus mcqs are there, are there so you can select any of the pack as per your requirement my recommendation is at least 360 MCQ, mcqs would be beneficial to cover more number of model as per nptl syllabus so that's it guys so this is the mail id don't forget to mail me to this email id sir confirm to make the purchase so now let's get back to the solution so please share this news with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp student groups and form groups so if you take it in a group pack the prices will be the individual prices will be shared right so one person from the group mail me to this email id if you are a single person the prices are these for group prices there are different uh, for group there are different prices once you mail me to this email id and let you let us know how many students are there in your group we will we can modify the prices according to the group prices guys right now let's get back to the solutions so 16th question for 16th question second option binary search is the probable solution next 17th one for 17th question third option 8 is the probable solution next 19th question which statement is false sorry uh, 18th question which statement is false so third option once again binary search always performs better than linear search so it is the probable solution that is the false statement 
next what will be the output of the following code for 19th question i have got minus 1 second option as the probable solution next 20 20th question how many comparisons will it take 100 is the probable solution guys next 21st so 21st question for 21st one second option is the probable solution the initial choice had a one third chance of being correct so switch switching captures the remaining two thirds next 22nd question it guarantees the host never reveals the car the first option is the probable one for 22nd question now let's move on to the 23rd one what would happen if the list available doors included doors that might have the car behind them so for 20 20 uh, 23rd one third option the probability advantage of switching would no longer hold is the probable solution next 24th what is the main purpose of random dot shuffle of doors in this simulation for 24th one second option is the probable solution to ensure fairness by randomly pricing the car placing the car next 25th which of the following modifications would incorrectly simulate the monty hall problem so for 26th question third option always forcing the player to switch their initial choice after monty opens the door next 27th what does this snippet do in the simulation so third option switches the player's choice to do the, to the remained unopened door next why is running the simulation with thousands of trials important once again third option to approximate the actual win probabilities using empirical evidence next uh, what is the probability that your initial choice is wrong once again third option two third next 29th for 29th question third option once again one is the probable solution and last question what kind of probability concept does the monty hall problem mainly help us understand so for last and final question once again third one how many probable uh, how probability changes when new information is revealed so third option once again so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 5 assignment of the course joy of computing using python hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of mcqs pack exam preparation mcqs for the course joy of computing using python mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at gmail.com if you are confirmed to make the purchase of any of these packs so already many students and even professors have also taken our pack so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you